Death to the biggest piece of shit on the planet awesome day. I'm speaking, of course, of Osama bin Laden. If you found this video, you've heard the news because you apparently searched it on YouTube. Osama bin Laden is dead, finally. Apparently, he was found in a house outside the Pakistani capital. Yeah, a house, not a cave. How weird is that shit? U.S. Special Forces operation went in, and a firefight erupted, and he took a shot to the head. And is this a good thing? Yeah, it's a very good thing. It's a great thing. I'm the happiest human being on the face of the earth. Why? Because he was a murdering, genocidal piece of shit, and and I'm glad he's dead. He doesn't deserve to live. And there will be people out there who will be like, Jeremy, he was a human life, and it's always it's, it's always a sad thing when human life is dead. Yeah, tell that to the people he murdered on 9-11. Yeah, you gotta be a human being first, and he just doesn't qualify. Or didn't qualify. I say didn't qualify because he's fucking dead, and it's awesome. Anyone who ever saw any of those videos, like the ones where like the news reporter was getting his head chopped off and shit, no, some shit just has to be cleaned up. He was one of them. And this has been a long time coming, for like 10 years, 10 years. And he's been all like, fuck America for over 10 years. But I mean, for the past 10 years, since 9-11, he's been in the sights. And apparently they took his body back to Washington, DC. What are they gonna do with it? I know what I would do with it if I were president. I would stuff that thing. I'd get a taxidermist to stuff it like an animal. In the stupidest pose ever, I'd have him in the White House all like, for like ever. I'll be like, that's what happens when you fuck with us. Now I gotta wonder what's gonna happen now, because Osama bin Laden was, he was the main target. He was the bullseye. Now that he's gone, we still gonna be over there fighting the war on terror? I mean, can we take a day, like one day, make it like the end of Return of the Jedi, where everyone sits around a campfire, roasts marshmallows, and Ewoks get to sing a shitty song, and we just get to enjoy the day for one day? Just take a day off, or a few. And I imagine his goons are gonna carry on his work, and we'll deal with that shit too. But for now, Enjoy the moment. And will I offend people by saying, yeah, he was a murdering piece of shit and I'm glad he's dead, probably. But I'm not gonna take it back and I'm not gonna apologize, not ever. Because I truly believe that is the case. Just being real with you guys. So this is a good day, not just for America, but for the world. A genocidal murdering piece of shit douchebag is dead. Which makes this day awesome-tacular. Now, I'm not going to say, what do you think about this? Osama bin Laden dead? Comment below, let me know, or anything like that. I will end by saying, if you're someone out there who lost someone in 9-11, it's okay to be happy about today. Don't feel guilty about that shit. And I'm sorry bin Laden was a fucking asshole piece of shit who did this to you. And I know the death of Osama bin Laden is not going to bring the people back. I know that. But this is a little something. So live it up. Enjoy it. Crack open some champagne. Like I said, people may carry on his work, but that fucking asshole won't actually be the one behind it. And that is a little bit of good right there. Be a bittersweet. And just take heart knowing that Osama bin Laden's gonna be taking Satan's cock in hell for eternity, so there that is. So yes, my review of the Transformers 2 trailer is coming, but I felt this was worth touching on. Because it's actually important real-world stuff, which I usually don't get involved with, but this was a little different. Later.